The port traces its humble beginnings to 1871 and Thomas Bard, who envisioned a commercial harbor capable of providing easy transportation for local products. The original 1,500-foot-long Bard's Wharf opened up new growth opportunities in both exports and imports for the community in Ventura County. In the 1930s, the port received its official status when the State of California authorized the creation of the Oxnard Harbor District and the first port commissioners were appointed under the leadership of Richard Bard, the father of the port. On May 5, 1938, the port made history when a bond issued for its construction at a sum of $1.75 million was fully subscribed within 15 minutes, making it the first time a port would be constructed without a cent of federal government money. December 7, 1941, the Japanese attack at Pearl Harbor signals the entry of the United States into World War II and a very different chapter in the life of the port. In March 1942, the U.S. Navy took possession of the port by eminent domain for use during this time of great national need, moving more than 7.5 million tons of military-related cargo. After the war, the government and the port began a strong tradition of joint use and partnership as the port began rebuilding its mission of international commerce. The port saw the first car import arrive in 1977, initiating its first major expansion since the war. Del Monte Tropical Fruit Company chose the port for its West Coast operations in 1979, attracting more fruit importers and exporters, making Wainimi one of the nation's busiest fresh produce ports. Today, the Port of Wainimi is one of California's busiest seaports and is now a top 10 U.S. port in auto and fresh produce. Some of the additional markets the port serves include general cargo, bulk liquids, and fish. Handling over $9 billion in cargo value annually, this translates into more than $1.5 billion in economic impact and over 13,000 jobs. Port of Wainimi, a legacy of global reach, a future for generations.